What's going on, everyone? So there's a lot of talks and questions about what are the Golden State Warriors going to do with Jonathan Kaminga. Now, based on reports that have recently came out, the Warriors uh, do not plan on giving Jonathan Kaminga a max. Um, that, you know, what that number will be, we still don't really know, but it's not going to be anywhere near that max. Now, obviously, that could change. Let's say Jonathan Kaminga has a real breakout year, really takes some real strides, and actually is looking like, um, you know, that star that the Warriors are hoping that he does. He has these moments. He has these flashes. He has these glimpses where you look and you're like, man, this dude is is probably going to be something one day. But he has been very inconsistent, getting him kind of locked in and focused and being able to game in and game out, give you the production that you need. Uh, that's where the question becomes. But I mean, this guy has the size, the foot speed, the athleticism, you know, the shooting. The dude has the whole package. Again, it's just being able to, to really have him focus and be consistent enough game in and game out to justify max money, right? With the new CBA, you, you, you don't have the opportunity to really gamble. You, you got to get it right. And especially with the Warriors and their cap situation and Steph Curry making you know, $60 million a year and stuff, it's just you, you can't be wrong in that regard. However, there is the potential that they look to trade Jonathan Kaminga at some point this season. Now, they didn't trade and weren't willing to trade Jonathan Kaminga for Laurie Markinen, right? So it's like, what would it take to trade Jonathan Kaminga? Does it have to be a big star? Well, the report's coming out that my, Jimmy Butler could potentially be headed to the Golden State Warriors at some point this season. Now, Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat could be headed for a divorce. Now, I do think there is a part of this that is being a little overblown. There is a part of this that I think is also probably just Jimmy Butler applying pressure to the organization. It's not like Jimmy Butler's, you know, 25, right? Like the guy, the guy is not this spring chicken anymore. Now he is an incredible talent still. And playoff Jimmy is an absolute real thing. As much as Jimmy Butler likes to pretend that it's not, it is still a real thing, but he's 34, right? Going to be 35. Oh, at the, the time this video posts, he'll be 35. So you're watching this video. Happy birthday, Jimmy Butler. Um, September 14th. I'm actually pre-recording this the, the night prior on September 13th. So happy, but, uh, happy Butler. <laughs> As I say, happy birthday, Jimmy Butler. Um, but I digress, right? Jimmy Butler would make a ton of sense for the Golden State Warriors, right? Particularly in the playoffs, him and Steph Curry could be quite the duo, also, Jimmy Butler has a history of just not caring about the regular season. And as much as Jimmy Butler likes to pretend like, oh, it's not true. Like, you know, like, you know, I'm the same guy. I, he's not. He's not the same guy in the regular season as he is the playoffs. So that's something that has to be kind of figured in. Now, if the Heat were going to trade Jimmy Butler, getting a guy like Jonathan Kaminga makes a lot of sense. Right now, you got this young forward that has star potential for now and the future, right? And you kind of use him and Tyler Hero and Bam and stuff like that. But Jimmy Butler being, you know, 35, he doesn't have a lot of time. So I do think that the, there is this part of him that is using leverage, putting pressure on the heat of like, hey, you know, I'll leave. I'll go test free agency, right? You hear all the reports about Brooklyn. Brooklyn makes zero sense to me. If Brooklyn kept Mikel Bridges, then maybe, even then, I'd kind of still be like, eh, really? But would it would at least make a little more sense. Jimmy Butler on the Brooklyn Nets make absolutely no sense at all. They're not close to a champ. Like, they're not a team that's like, oh, man, Jimmy Butler, now Brooklyn's a contender, no, Brooklyn's a team, like, yeah, they can have a bunch of cap space next season, but still, it's like, getting Jimmy Butler and who? And now you're, now you're, no, you're better off just hitting the reset button, kind of rebuilding for the future. Like, stay away from Jimmy Butler. So I just think that it's a leverage play. The whole Pat Riley and Jimmy Butler, you know, Jimmy Butler talking about, you know, and I'm paraphrasing, but like, along the lines of like, oh, if I would have played things would have been different, we would have beaten Boston and blah, 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 and then Pat Riley being like, well, you know, people that 
didn't pl- that don't play, shouldn't talk or whatever. Again, something along those lines. I don't think Jimmy Butler really cared. You know, I know like that kind of got blown out. Like, oh, he called out a star. Jimmy Butler is a very different beast. You know, Jimmy Butler's known as a bit of an a-hole, right? But he also loves it. That's why him and Pat Riley and the Heat make so much sense for Jimmy Butler. I don't think Jimmy Butler felt slighted by that. I don't think he looked at, oh, I'll show him. I think Jimmy Butler was like, all right, all right. <laughs> I see you. Okay, watch. You know, I don't think it was like this big deal to him. I think the media is trying to paint it that way. I don't think Jimmy Butler really cared. I think Jimmy Butler's like, there's, there's, there's my pet, right? There he is, right? Like, I just, you know, I just don't see it as that big of a deal. But does it make sense for Miami to maybe consider moving off of Jimmy? Yeah. And you don't want to just, you don't want to lose Jimmy for nothing, right? So if you could essentially trade Jimmy to the Golden State Warriors, let Jimmy go pair up with Steph Curry. Would the Warriors really give Jimmy Butler a max, though? That's the question. Because if you trade for him, you have to. You can't trade Kaminga and whatever else, you know, Wiggins and stuff, to go get Jimmy Butler to then not (laughs) uh, sign Jimmy Butler. So if you're the Warriors, you're kind of in this predicament where you're going to have to do that. Is Jimmy Butler and Steph enough to win a championship? I don't know. Right? I mean, Steph Curry with Andrew Wiggins as his second best player was able to win in 2022. Now, obviously, he had Clay, and Clay was better in that season than he was in other years. But, like, you know, like, okay, so you're probably doing something like Kaminga. Like Kaminga, Moody, and Wiggins to go get Butler. You know, something along those lines. Right? Give or take. So essentially, you would have something along the lines of like Pod, Steph, Butler, um, Draymond, and like Jackson. You know, Trace Jackson Davis or... Um, Kavon Looney. Now you could go with you could go with Green at the five, and then go, you know, maybe Kyle Anderson at the four, but he doesn't really give you shooting, right? So now depth wise, I think you'd be fine because you'd still have Melton, Gary Payton the second, Buddy Hield. Um, you know, you have one of if not both of Looney and Trace. Jackson, right? So, like, depth-wise, you'd be fine. But uh, overall, like, is is that enough with Jimmy Butler and Steph Curry teamed up to go and contend and try to win another championship? I worry more about the regular season than I do the playoffs. I think Steph Curry and Jimmy Butler are healthy in the playoffs. You don't want to see. You just don't. Like, I can't think of a team that's like, oh, man, I can't wait to play them. Right? Like, that would just be a nightmare. But I I worry about the regular season. Right? Jimmy Butler's been dealing with injuries the last few years. Same thing with Steph. And Jimmy, again, he doesn't really... He, he just seems at times during the regular season like he could care. Like, he doesn't even want to be there. Like, can we just hurry up and get to the finals? Which, again, isn't great. I mean, Miami is in the finals every other year. But they're a play-in team every year. In the East. In the East. We're not talking about the Western Conference here. We're talking about the East. So, you have a, a a guy who... Does he show up at all in the regular season? Does he show up enough to where you can kind of weather the regular season? That could be a possibility. Again, there's just so many question marks in regards to to Jimmy Butler regular season burst playoffs. And is it worth kind of rolling the dice with? Now, you'd have Steph for two more seasons. You're really giving Jimmy three, four more years. So you're hoping Steph wants to play another year or two? I don't know. I mean, 
if you're doing something where it's like, man, we could use Jimmy Butler and his expiring contract as like a salary dump, right? Like, for example, let's say you go and you, you trade for Jimmy Butler, right? And you, you know, you're, you're giving up, like I mentioned, an, an Andrew Wiggins, right? Well, Andrew Wiggins has this year plus next year and then a player option. So he could be under contract for another three years. Do you look at it as like, hey, we could trade for Jimmy Butler, get off of Kamingo, who we don't have to give a max to, get off of Moody's money, and then get off of Andrew Wiggins' money, bring in Jimmy Butler. If it works, then yes, you know, we we go and, and give him the max or whatever. Maybe we give him a two-year max and kind of give him and Steph one last hoorah. Or if it doesn't work, we just let Jimmy walk and we have Steph with like 60 million in cap space or whatever, right? Because you'd have like all the other money falling off. It's a possibility, right? Do they kind of look at it and just go like, you know, this would be a great way to kind of salary dump, possibly. But is that really worth losing Kaminga and all those other... It's just, I don't think so. Again, I, I like... I wouldn't hate it if Jimmy went to the Warriors. I just, is Jimmy the right guy for the Warriors? Right? And is Jimmy worth trading Kaminga for? This is what you're probably going to have to give up. Where do you just hold on to Kaminga and save him for, you know, uh, uh, maybe a star that, you know, say, say the, uh, the Suns implode again this year. And it's just not working out and looks like a disaster. If you're the Warriors, do you just go like, hey, maybe we get Kevin Durant, right? Maybe we trade something like, you know, the same package we would for um, Jimmy Butler. We go and trade for Kevin Durant. All right, like now Steph and KD get to kind of one last push together. That's a possibility. I don't know. It's just a tough spot for them to be in. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion. I pass a question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? What are your thoughts? Do you like the idea of Jimmy Butler on the Warriors? Do you think no? It doesn't make any sense. It's silly. Would you trade Kaminga for Jimmy Butler? However you feel, whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me a lot. So we enjoy these types of videos. Truly appreciate it. Not subscribe channel. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.